day everybody this is dark comet and welcome to my channel hope you're having a great day so far welcome back to the last of us remastered this is going to be episode number six i hope you guys are enjoying this tale so far i am thoroughly enjoying playing this game again and sharing it with you as well in the last episode we saw joel tess and ellie enter downtown boston and fight off all kinds of groups of infected as they went through the really cool looking boston museum we also saw them finally get to the capitol building and discover that all the fireflies had been destroyed and killed by government soldiers um, we also got the big reveal that tess had actually been bitten in the museum and was now infected and was going to die she asked joel to take Ellie to his brother Tommy to get it back to the Fireflies so that maybe she is the cure. Maybe it can be believed that she is immune to the disease. And then eventually we saw that more government soldiers arrived at the Capitol building and Tess decided to sacrifice herself because she didn't want to turn into an infected. We saw Joel and Ellie evade and kill all the soldiers in the capital and then escape through the subway tunnels as well. And then we finally ended up with Joel and Ellie walking through the woods outside of Boston towards the town of Lincoln to find Joel's old smuggler buddy Bill and to ask him to see if he can give them a car. In this episode we're going to see Joel and Ellie explore the abandoned town of Lincoln and finally get reunited with the very reclusive, very crass and very rude Bill. <laughs> and then. We're going to see Joel and Ellie um, also um, try to get resupplied and get parts for a vehicle to leave the town of Lincoln. We find out that there is no car they can't take right now, but they have to go and get some parts, including a battery, which might be on the other side of town. So that's kind of where we're going to head off with this episode. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the tale, and let's get started. Where do you usually meet him? Huh? Different places. You've never been here, have you? I know this is where he lives, but no, I ain't never been here personally. And that smoke, you think that's him? Sure as hell better be. Well, let's go check it out then. All right, come on. Down here. Just watch your step. It's a good drop. Are you all right? I'm trying to learn how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle. It doesn't sound like I know how to whistle. Just give me a second. Let's go ahead and check out this pills note here. Reminder, collect more pills. See if I can scrounge up some more ammo. I only have three more weeks until the next drop off with Tess.
Jam from the other side. Here, boost me up. Uh, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we gonna get over there? All right, come here. Give me your foot. Now listen, you just open it, okay? Nothing else. Sure thing. Easy, easy. Let's say we get a car from this buddy of yours. Then what? Well, then we go find Tommy. Marlene said he's your brother? And more importantly, he was a firefly. He know where to take you. Oh, okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need the car. Yeah, those are gnomes. Man, I had an art book filled with these. I always thought they were super cute. <laughs> Not fairies, though. They creep me out. All right, man. Did you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Knives who'd... Uh, what was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. <laughs> uh, I was never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it.
Whoa. Look at this place. Perimeter note. Infected showing up much too close to the church safe house. Looks like I'm going to need to do another round of clearing out the weak spots of the perimeter. music that's just sitting here. No one's around to listen to it. I don't know. It doesn't seem right. <laughs> yeah, it's Bill's handiwork. Anybody else live in this town? Or as I know, it's just him. Note to Bob, I'm not leaving town without that safe. Help Brad load it into the pickup, and in case you need to get in, the combination is 5, 17, 21. were everywhere, huh? Yeah, they were. Hoping to restore the country to what it was. Well, with a vaccine, maybe they will. Maybe. Mandatory evacuation. Evacuate to where? Where you think? Quarantine zone. See, some places got a heads up before the infection showed up. Most didn't. Man, must be hard. Just leaving all your stuff behind like that. That ain't the hard part. a bit paranoid, maybe? No, that's putting it lightly. What's the deal with this guy? Well, he helped us smuggle stuff into the cities. He knows how to find things. Well, let's hope we don't blow up trying to find him. Just watch your step. You'll be fine. Oh, man, you gotta 
teach me how to do that. Good with a bow? Yeah, I reckon he is. Use that. I'm a pretty good shot with that thing. How about we just leave this kind of stuff to me? Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. <laughs> it's all clear. Come on up. this. See that wire? Stay underneath it, okay? Just keep your head low and you'll be fine. All right. You hear that? Yeah. Shit, you're gonna go in there? I wanna see what we can find. You're gonna find my body when I back in the front. Don't worry. I got this.
Jeez, that thing scared the shit out of me. Well, I understand. While we're here, let's right. search the place. Note to Rachel, soldiers are going door to door, forcing people onto the buses. I hear yelling a couple of buildings down. Time is running out. I tried calling, waiting. I don't know what to do, but I can't wait anymore. I've thrown most of our stuff into a couple of suitcases. I'll be waiting for you in the quarantine zone. Come find me. I'll see you soon. Ezra. You think they ever found each other? How the hell would I know? Well, I'd like to think they did. Let's get the hell out of here. Things are kind of awesome. There's one way to do it. <laughs> See that? Get back. Stay close. Stupid traps! There, that fridge, it looks like that's a counterweight. Okay. Cut that rope, and it'll bring me down! On it! Here they come.
You can do it. Okay. Here's the ammo. Thanks. God damn it. Come on. It's not cutting. Just hurry. Hey, over here. and all. Uh, Ellie. Hey, what are you... Joel? Bill! What are you doing? Bill! Turn around and get on your knees. Just calm down a second. Turn around all right. and get on your knees! Don't test me! Just take it easy. Any bites? No. Anything sprouting? Oh, God damn it, I'm clean! If I see so much as a truck. No! Stop! Son of a bitch! You done? Am I done? You come into my house. You set off all my traps. You damn near break my shooting arm. Who the fuck is this punk and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business. And we're here because you owe Joel some favors. And oh. you can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favors. Is this some kind of joke? I'll cut to the chase. I need a car. 
Well, it is a joke. Joel needs a car. Well, if I had one that works, which I sure as hell don't, what makes you think I'd just give it to you? Huh? Yeah, sure, Joel. Go ahead. Take my car. Take all my food, too, while you're at it. By the looks of it, you could lose some of that food. Listen to me, you little shit. No, fuck you! You handcuff I me. need you to shut up. All right? Whatever favors you think I owe you ain't worth that much. Actually, Bill, they are. Well, it don't matter, because I don't have a car that works. But there is one in this town. Parts. There are parts in this town. Meaning that you could fix one up. All right. If I'm gonna do this, there's some gear I'm gonna need. All right. It's on the other side of town. Now you help me go gather it, and maybe I can put something together that runs. But after this, I owe you nothing. That's fine. A couple of days from now, we'll probably be dead anyway. Good. Follow me. Whole goddamn town's booby trapped. Best stay right on my ass. Can't miss it. Knock it off. All right. Whatever supplies you may want or need, I suggest you grab them. All right, thank you. Ellie, take a look around, see if there's anything we can use. All right. Fences note. Need to remember to clear the infected by the fences. Third time this month that too many of them were stacking up against the fence, knocking it over. Clear the fences. You know how to play this? Yeah, pretty badly, yeah. I always wanted to learn. Hey, Bobby Fisher, don't touch anything on that board. Bobby, what? Hey, just let it go. There are a number of training manuals throughout the game. Um, I'll show them as we find them. This is the first one, it is for upgrading your shivs and this one is called the improved durability of blades so let's go ahead and read it sharpening a blade reduces the force necessary to cut or puncture thus increasing the life of the blade this is shiv manual volume one it'll also help us increase the number of times we can use our shivs the cover says stealth combat weapons and tactical movement as I mentioned before, there's a number of training manuals in the game. As we encounter them, I will bring them to your attention. They are not part of the overall achievements for the game, but they are absolutely necessary in helping you achieve your goals of finishing it. So I'll bring them up to you when we find them. Found everything you need? We're good. All right, Ellie, come on. Don't leave the door open. I got it. We have to cross to the other building. Up the stairs. Let's move it. Just stay with me. Can't believe you agreed to this bullshit, Bill. What you should have done was just left him back there. You weren't kidding about him. Yeah, he's one of a kind.
I'm gonna take a look around up here. Nothing in there that I need. Go ahead, take whatever you want. Thanks. Here's the hunter's note. I saw a group of hunters coming dangerously close to the town. Luckily, a pack of infected chased them off. Reminder, put up more warning signs. Let them know you're serious. What kind of trouble are you in? Where the hell's Ted? It's just a job. S simple drop-off. What are you delivering? <laughs> <laughs> that little brat? Haha. <laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> oh. You know, I, I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> are you kidding me with this guy? So where are we oh. going, Bill? We have the safe house. More of an armory. Wait, I thought we were gonna fix up a car. <laughs> we? You know how to fix it. Bill. Just... That's like I said, what I need is on the other side of town. Now that side I don't ever go to because it's filled with infected. So we're gonna need guns. Answer my question about Tess. I, mean, I thought the two of you were inseparable. She's busy. Yeah, sure. Busy. <laughs> like, might be trouble in paradise. Yeah, something like that. All right. Why don't you fix one of these cars? Oh my god, you're a genius. I mean, the whole time, why on earth hadn't I thought about fixing one of these cars? Okay, don't be a dick. Their tires are rotted and their batteries are dead. Are you done? Can't even begin to think what the inside of the engine block look like. Only ones making new car batteries are the military. God damn it! Infected! Lock and load. <laughs> Bill? Joel? This way. <clears throat> and up we go.
picked a hell of a place to hold up, didn't you? You know, as bad as those things are, at least they're predictable. The normal people that scare me. You of all people should understand that. What does that mean? Nothing. You sure that gate's gonna hold them? Well, I locked it. They don't have a key. So which way? We're here. It's in the cellar. You don't touch anything. And you close the door? <laughs> Let's gear up. Uh-uh. What? I need a gun. No, you don't. Joel, I can handle myself. No. Just stay here. <laughs> it's fine. Just wait around for you two to get me killed. Well, this goes on record as the worst fucking job you've ever taken. Hey, it's up there. How in the hell is Tess okay with this suicide mission? It's actually her idea. Really? Well, then the broad's not as smart as I thought she was. What? Fuck her. Seriously, you gotta take that kid back to where you found her. I can't just take her back. Then send her packing. Let her find her own way. Look, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. He's a partner. Somebody I had to look after. And in this world, that sort of shit's good for one thing. Getting you killed. So you know what I did? I wisened the fuck up. And I realized it's gotta be just me. Bill, it ain't, it ain't like that. It's bullshit. It is just like that. What'd I say to you when we walked down the steps? What'd I say? I'm just fixing your stupid pile. Don't touch. God damn it. You keep babysitting long enough and eventually it's gonna blow up in Bill, your face. Can we please just get on with it? Here. Let's get on with it. All right, before we go any further, I got something I gotta show you. What you got? New toy from the toy box. <sighs> this is a nail bomb. And you gotta be really careful. This thing blows, it shreds anybody standing nearby. Yeah, I've seen your handiwork. Pretty good, huh? So we got shotguns and bombs. What the hell are we doing with them? Well, every few weeks, this military caravan rides through town. I assume they're out looking for supplies. I mean, you, you'd be amazed at the shit that they overlook. Anyway, a few months back, they were rolling through and they get overrun by this horde of infected. They were all over the truck. It plows right in the side of the high school. Still sitting there with a the battery in it. So we take that battery and we put it in another car. Bingo. I wanted to get it, but it seemed too dangerous with all the infected on that part of town. But fuck it. Joel needs a car. Hey, what if it's damaged? Nah. Those trucks are like tanks. It's just sitting there. Actually, my work. As you encounter different workbenches to upgrade your weapons, you're going to need these toolboxes to get further ahead in the game. This is the first one. This is tools level one. Every time we find them, I will point them out to you and show you where they're located. It's very important that you get those because you cannot get more capacity, firepower, etc. on your weapons until you find those. So here's the second workbench right there. First we're going to find the rest of the materials in this room and then we'll go back and upgrade our weapons to the best of our capability. And then we'll move forward with 
Bill and our adventure. Okay, this time I'm going to go for the two holsters. holsters, I'm pretty sure, because we have enough points for it. And then I'll try to see what weapons we can increase the capacity always first. And then we'll see if we can do stability and stuff. The long range rifle getting a scope is also very important later on. And that's kind of what we'll do here with these upgrades. The weapon holsters are very essential, I think. It helps you switch between two different long range and two different short range weapons, which can really make a difference when you have a bunch of people around and you're trying to do things in uh, stealth mode, for instance. That'll help you out a lot. So get those holsters when you can. And I just decided to get them now because it makes things a lot easier for me. As you can see, we can switch between the two weapons without having to hold down the button and then going up and down. It really makes a huge difference to put two weapons in there that you're going to use frequently and then just go between them very quickly. Kid, I swear to God, if you took anything... Hey man, I don't need any of your shit. Trust me. Joel, you are keeping an eye on her, right? Like a hawk. Nice place you got here. Well, if you got anything to confess, this would be the place to do it. That's not the confessional booth, that's my room. All right, I'm not touching anything. Just... Bomb note. Group of runners triggered most of the bombs on the south side of town. It's time to do another pass. Don't forget to mark the map with all bomb locations. Alright, <clears throat> time to sack up. Come on. Look, there's a school. All right. Ready? Guess we'll find out. That'll do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really enjoying playing this game again. It is so much fun. I know I haven't played it for such a long time, but every time I play it, it just brings me joy, and I hope it shows up in the video that I'm showing you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out my channel a lot, and hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already. For those who are new subscribers, welcome to the channel, and for those who are already current subscribers and watching the game, thank you so much for joining me on this epic journey of The Last of Us Remastered. Please leave me a comment and let me know how things are going, if you're enjoying the series, and if you'd like to see anything else from me in the future. Check out the description down below. I have done quite a few things so far. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 
2, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, The Last of Us Part 2, uh, which you can also find. And of course, I just did a bunch of videos on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next Dark Comet Adventures, guys. Take care.